Hello friends, welcome to the Take Better Photos channel. Are you interested in taking stunning panorama shots that give your viewer the feeling of it was like in the scene? Well, stick around because in today's video, I'll be showing you how to take raw panorama shots for free with just your mobile device and stitch it with Affinity Photo. So let's get right into it. First, let's answer why you even need to use stitching software at all. Why not just use the built-in panorama function of your iPhone? Well, the main reason is flexibility. By using stitching software, you are not limited to just a horizontal or vertical arrangement. You can arrange your shot in a grid format that allows you to capture even more of a scene while also closely mimicking the aspect ratio of a standard photo. Another advantage is better quality. As far as I'm aware, mobile phone's panorama function does not capture in RAW. On the other hand, most stitching software supports RAW, allowing you more editing latitude with the ability to recover details in shadows and highlights. So now that we've made the case for panorama stitching, instead of just using your mobile device's panorama function, let's run through how to shoot the panorama brackets with Lightroom camera. So here we are in Lightroom Mobile. The first step is to launch Lightroom camera by tapping the camera button. Now that we're in Lightroom camera, the second step is to ensure you're shooting in RAW. DNG must be indicated in the label, and if it is not, make sure to change it. The third step is to change the shooting mode to Pro mode. This will give us manual control so as to be able to fix shooting parameters like the shutter speed and ISO. Now that we are in Pro mode, the fourth step is to set the shutter speed. As we are hand holding the iPhone, set the shutter speed to a value fast enough to avoid camera shake while ensuring a good exposure. For my case, I'll fix it to 1 over 25. The fifth step is to set the ISO. Move the slider to a value that will give a proper exposure. In my case, that value is 2000. This is higher than I would like, but then again, my choice is limited as the light was getting low. The sixth step is to set the focus. Move the slider to a point where the majority of the green peaking highlights are overlaid on the subject, indicating that the subject is in focus. By the way, the reason you fix focus is to ensure that all your brackets have the same focus point, even when the subject is not included in the bracket. The last thing you want are panorama brackets focused at different things. The seventh step is to take the shot. Take as many shots as you need to adequately cover a scene. Also, make sure that there is a good overlap between each shot to prevent stitching errors. Once the shooting is done, you can now export the images to your computer. To do this, navigate to the photo library, tap the More Options button, tap Select, select your images. Once done, tap Share. Tap Export As. Ensure that DNG is the selected file type. Tap the check mark. After this is done, you can choose any mechanism to transfer your files. For the iPhone, the easiest is AirDrop. Okay, the transfer is done. Let's switch to the desktop and begin the stitching process with Affinity. So here we are in Affinity Photo. To stitch the files, click File, New Panorama. Next, click Add, and from the dialog, select your files. Once done, click Stitch Panorama. Okay, the stitching is done, and you can see a preview being shown. Click OK. Use the Crop tool 
to get rid of any white areas. Once that is done, click Apply. The image looks a little bit dark. No problem. Let's go to Develop Persona and use Affinity's powerful tone adjustments and local adjustments with overlays. And there you have it, our beautiful panorama. Not bad for just an iPhone. It really captures what my eyes saw on that day. So I hope you found this video helpful. Let me know if there are any other techniques for shooting panoramas. I'd love to hear from you. Also, you might be wondering what is the best panorama stitching software? Is it Affinity Photo? Well, we'll be answering that question on my next video as I discuss the top five panorama stitching raw editors. So do watch out for that. Till then, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share to help keep the videos coming. Until the next video, I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye for now.